all right so now we are going to be talking about some offline updates um, so I use Windows as my primary machine uh, previously I had Mac but now I have Windows uh, with Windows there is this strange thing that you can't have your updates offline officially from Microsoft I mean you can download service packs and some major updates which are very large in size but for the smaller updates you have to do them online using Windows update applications in most of the scenarios especially if you are a home desktop user like me and you have just one personal computer unless you are a tech geek and you somehow know how do you do that how do you play around with Windows update applications and make it download the updates um, for you in future use and the alternate to that is a simple application called WSUS offline update the website for which is www.wsusoffline.net it's wsusoffline.net now I have been personally using this application for quite a few years now um, they started somewhere in I think just before 2010 or something and uh, now it's 2014 okay, uh, all right and now it's 2014 uh, actually just about to be 2015 in, in a few days and they are very updated they update the application and the repositories where from where the updates are downloaded for uh, for installation on your systems quite regularly and I really like that I really appreciate that approach so I have been using this for quite a while now and I must say I'm really impressed so when you download WSUS offline uh, you can download it using the download link over here and when you start using it uh, the most recent version is available over here version 9.5 it will come as a zip file you have to extract that zip file once you extract you will have a WSUS offline folder and which will look like this to actually generate the updates you have to use the update generator.exe and to install the updates on a computer where you want to install the updates you can copy this particular folder called client now this folder client has all the updates that you generated using update generator.exe so as a matter of fact you can just copy this folder in a pen drive in a thumb drive or you can write it to a DVD or something and take it around with you as if you are an offline installer for Windows Update and a walking talking offline installer okay I'm just joking so if you go into this client folder you have update installer uh, using this you can install the updates now let's first have a look at update generator so if I double click on it you can see these all options so this allows you to generate the updates for Windows Vista this is the latest application uh, latest version 9.5 as it is there on their website as we just saw it it says 9.5 so this allows you to generate the updates for Windows 7, Vista 8 and 8.1. Um, I have personally downloaded all the updates for Windows 7 32-bit and 64-bit. That's because I use a 64-bit system and my brother uses a 32-bit system. So I can have the updates offline for both our computers. Additionally, um, I have checked these options. Most of them are usually checked. Some of them you might want to check if it is not already checked that all my updates should include Windows Defender definitions because I use Windows Defender personally on all my Windows systems. It should include service packs so that I don't have to manually install service packs if I'm doing a reinstallation of OS operating system. And when it is downloading updates, it should verify all the updates just to make sure it is correct. Include all the libraries of C++ runtime and .NET frameworks and whatsoever include the MSE Microsoft Security Essentials because again I do use them and under the office tab you have office 2007 and office 2010 and office 2013 now I'm currently using office 2007 on one computer and office 2010 on the other computer but I have the plans to move on to office 2013 and so I have even downloaded updates in English language for office 2013 if you want to download updates for some other language you can obviously take that language over here check it and then once you click start it will go on starting the downloads if you use some legacy products some old products like Windows Server 2003 or Windows Server 2003 64-bit editions you can even download updates for that I don't do them 
and it even clearly says Microsoft will discontinue support for these products on July 14, 2015. So if you actually use them, it's time to move on, guys. It's high time. Um, so that's how you actually start downloading updates. Once you have all these things checked, once you have it corrected, um, you don't need to do USB medium or anything. It will be automatically downloaded in, in uh, a file in the folder called client that I'm just about to show you. From there, you can just copy it straight away. Just click start. As you click start, it will start downloading the updates for you. It will connect to the internet and the updates will start downloading one by one. I'm going to click. Okay, this is. Uh, don't show this message again. Okay, so I'm going to exit from this particular application. Now let's have a look at in the client side. So in the client side, I have update installer, right? So over here, I'm going to double click update installer. Okay, so it's asking me um, select the desired options and start to install missing Microsoft updates on your computer. So I have checked all the options that I want to check. If I want to install .NET Framework 4.x, I can even check that. Uh, do you wish to proceed? This is necessary for certain applications that Windows Genuine Advantage Validation Check should be run. So if you don't have a, win a genuine Windows copy or if you are still on trial Windows copy, this might fail. So I'll just say yes because I have a genuine Windows copy. Install Office Validation uh, if you want to install it. Uh, Management Framework 4.0 if you want to install it. Microsoft Silverlight if you want to do it. This is the most important thing and a really cool thing actually. Um, the control. So control is um, verify installation packages. So this will verify that the installation has been done successfully. That's cool. The other thing is automatic reboot and recall. So this option automatic reboot and recall temporarily disables user account control if required. Not only that, uh, I have tried this. It even creates a temporary admin user. Um, by the name, I think update WS US or something like that, and it automatically, uh, whenever reboots are required to install updates, it automatically reboots and logs you in using that particular user and continues to install rest of the updates one by one and does as many times it has to do the reboots. And once all the installations are done, it even deletes that particular user. So it's a fully automated script, something that will just run fully unattended. So if you want to install too many uh, updates on a particular machine, you just run this and leave it unattended and it will do everything it ha if you I mean if it has to do in order to get all your updates up and running. So this is a really cool thing I must say. Now as I said in terms of portability all you have to do is just carry this client folder. Now I have so many updates right now you saw uh, three update three office 2000 7, 10 and 13, so three different versions. I have Windows 7, 32-bit, 64-bit and so on. And my client folder comes approximately at 8.5 GB. Oh, it's exactly 8.5 GB, cool. So, under 8.5 GB, which I can actually carry in the thumb drive uh, or even in, in my smartphone, in my Android phone, um, I have all the updates. And that is really cool. I must say, really awesome. So this is how you can have all the offline updates downloaded at a secured location and use them to download the updates as many time as many you want to. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So that was it for this particular video, guys. WSUSoffline.net it is. Uh, I'm going to post this link uh, along with this video in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Do share your comments, your suggestions, your recommendations to improve my video recording abilities. And if you have anything else to share, please do not hesitate to post them in uh, the comments. Do like this video, do share this video and do subscribe to my channel if you like it. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more.